Hey, welcome back this morning. We are at the last verse in the book of, I was going to say the book of Elijah, but it's the book of Malachi, verse 6, chapter 4, verse 6. And he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. So we saw that there's several other places where curse is talked about in the book of Malachi. Now we're at the very end of the book. Notice that verses 4 to 6 in this chapter are quite closely related to each other. Remember the law of Moses, verse 4, verse 5, I'm sending Elijah, I'm sending an Elijah message at the end of time. And then finally, verse 6, he, those who give the Elijah message, will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. So we think that the gospel message certainly will uh, will draw families together when the whole family embraces it. Of course, many families, Jesus told us, would be divided, two against three and so on, with those who accept God and accept Jesus or those who reject him. That's true because truth sort of divides. It just It's inevitable that will. But when fathers and sons and daughters and, and mothers, when everybody tunes up and follows the Lord Jesus, we'll have happy, happy homes and God wants us to come close together. Now, we're talking here about a prophetic message, the last piece of this message in Malachi. We're also talking here about the current followers of God coming back into the truth that earlier the fathers had, okay? The hearts of the fathers will be turned to the children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. So there's like a return to true faith, a return to God's true message is being talked about here. You know, it's kind of Isaiah 56, Isaiah 58 stuff in there, right? Where we're going to be restorers of the breach. We're going to restore the paths to tread in. God is calling a people at the end of time to, to come up to the line, give a message, and then Jesus will come. And he says, I, otherwise I will come and strike the earth with a curse. And there was 400 plus years of prophetic darkness between this and we come to the New Testament. So that was the last book of the Old Testament. So friends, we want to be right. We want to uh, see the hearts of the fathers and the sons turn back and forth to each other. We want to see uh, a sound message from the Bible uh, updated and brought forward and be totally true to the scriptures. We want to give that message faithfully and God will help us. Are we willing? That's kind of the bottom line here. Let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, Help us to be right. Help us to seek your, your truth from your word. Help us to be willing. Show us how to walk with you. Lord, you be our helper. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. Thank you for being the true God and turning, turning generations back to you. Bless us that way, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So friends, let's get it right. And tomorrow morning, we'll be starting a brand new Bible book. I hope to see you there. God be with you today.